Okay. Dripping, dripping. Oh, this music is so good. Really, I, I think, yeah, I think the little effect that they have is uh, lithograph. I like how it starts off as a lithograph and kind of fades into like more of a black and white, say, well, slash sepia toned image. Oh, hey, Katarn, how's it going? Um, I'm doing, uh, doing this by myself tonight because uh, Beck got the, the Pax Pox, I believe that's the, uh, the med official medical term for it is the Pax Pox, um, but it's just so it's just me tonight, me and a five four hundred dollar bounty. Yeah, but how are you doing? Um, going all right. Bit busy, but good. Well, a good busy is good. Yeah, for me it's been a long day and so glad to relax. I hope Beck feels better soon. Yeah, me too. She can't seem to catch a break. <laughs> oh yes, we're in Valentine. Oh, there's a big old question mark right here. Oh, there's a big old question mark. Oh, they're building a new house. Hello. Hello, sir. Got a lot done. Played a little RDR2 earlier, though. Ooh, nice. This is like the game that keeps on giving. There's like so much content. What? Hello? Who said that? Who said that? Oh, you're the question mark, not the new house. Yeah? What do you want? Do I look like Oh he looks like a fancy boy? I mean obviously the guy on the right. because I look like that milk sop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of Oh no, I'm starting to look like Tim Allen from the Sin Calls too. I Man. apologize, sir, oh. for his smell. I, I, I no, I'm going to be playing it for you to come so good. Conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy. Well, what did you have in mind? In mind. Shoot a bottle off my head. Oh, no. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. Shoot one off mine instead. Hey, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but I won't even flip. I can't believe. No, you guys are idiots. Oh, well, hey, Luke, how's it going? Rage, you're the question mark. Company, come, sir, please. Yeah, Beck's not here tonight. She got the Pax Pox. Listen. Just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course. I can't believe who who goes up to a stranger and asks him to shoot ball. Oh no! At least I have my golden gun. That was fun. Okay, I I hope you guys don't get hooked on this particular rush of adrenaline. Another round, smaller bottles. Use dead eye for this. No way. Please, this creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm This is super I am shooting bottles from like eight feet away. I can do this. They got smaller bottles. Ready? FYI, this does not impress woman. You kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps. Helen, silence, you blackguard, sir. Shoot the wretch. I'm ready. 
No, this this is if you want to impress women, this is this is the worst way to do it. This music, yeah, this music kind of fits us. Oh, give me the gun, let me shoot him. Huh? For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Oh, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering uh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Oh, Lizard man, interesting. Interesting. Oh, brother. Me thinks we might run into those two again at some point. Also, I think I'm dressed far too warmly for this climate. Hello, horse cargo. Horse cargo, thank you. I want me normal deads. Okay, materials, kit, valuables, documents. Interesting. Interesting. How do you impress one reach if not getting bottles shot off your head? <laughs> well, women are impressed by intelligence, and that is not an intelligent move. If anything, she'd be far more impressed with the guy shooting bottles off of other guys' heads. Hey, you! Slow up now! Over there! <laughs> okay, now let's take items, a horse. Do you have the what now? Yes, you want this custom outfit. <laughs> This does not look like a custom outfit. This is not the thing I requested. Uh, oh, hey, Pringle, how's it going? Can't remember Hello. Guitars are shooting bottles off a dude's heads, no problem, but sneeze right next to the sheriff and get a bounty. I know. <laughs> It's interesting how this works in this game. Yeah, ever since that last update, Naysir looks a lot different. I mean, he looks a lot more silkier and glossier, but very different. Okay, let's, apparently we uh, need to go back to our camp. Oh, sure. I can help you out, sir. Great. You said you needed money. Say what you want about the people around here. They're friendly. I thought I heard you say you wanted money. I can give you money. What? Oh, you. Sure. Here we go. Dollar for you. Fought for the union. Good job. Oh, thank you, mister! Pringle says, I'm good, but sick. Oh! Oh no! Oh, oh gosh, cat fight. Cat fight going on. Hey, 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 call it. No, none of that. None of that. Oh, great. Like, yeah, I, when Beck's not here, things just go kind of haywire. Ah, there you go. Okay. Ah. Winter says, I don't know, a shot of liquor with a head on it has a reputation of working with ladies, if history is correct. <laughs> Winter. Winter says, I'm good, but sick, but good. How about you? Yeah, I'm doing well. Uh, Beck got the Pax Pox. So that's why she's not here tonight. But yeah, it's, I've been a long day, but otherwise, like, I've been definitely feeling a lot better than he was. Whenever you pick up a new clothing item, it makes a new custom clothes set with what you are wearing. Oh. By the way, you can change clothes at the hotel. Okay, we might do that. Much obliged. Get into the saloon. I'm, I'm thinking this is a hotel too. Hi. And what do you want? 
Um, okay, this is just a normal hey, saloon. Weren't you with those fellas in here when all that hell broke loose with... Uh, no, no. No, me. No, me. Beck's not here, so I can do the five-finger fillet. Uh, have a game? Money's done. Rach, why do you have a giant confederate flag in your bedroom? <laughs> I actually, um, have, I, I don't have hanging up right now, but I have, uh, um, so the town uh, of Siena in Italy has like an annual horse race. And the different neighborhoods have their own flag and compete against each other in this horse race around the town square. And Beck and I were there once, uh, uh, like, um, I think high school or college. Um, but yeah, we picked up all their flags and it makes, it's a really beautiful uh, room decoration. Oh shoot, we oh, got them blood. This guy, each player has one run round. Do they have claymore? We claymores. Speaking of swords, I found a broken pirate sword in this. <gasps> Can you use it? Can you use the broken pi pirate sword? Ah, win the pot. Come on. I'm taking what's left of my fingers and getting out of here. Oh, I scared him off. <gasps> oh, 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 what's this? Got a new challenger. Yes, let's do this. He has a melee weapon and he wears it around. <gasps> Where does this pirate sword go, Tarn? Oh my gosh, is this happening? I'm becoming. Oh, god, gosh. Oh, they switched it up on me. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Ah. Round two. I must win to stay in the game. I'm not win losing this guy. Zoom in. Ooh. All right, we got two squares at the end. We can do this. We can do this. Damn it all. Boosh. Mm-hmm. All right. Competing now. Ah, this has to be hurt. Mm -hmm. I need to zoom in. Okay, we got triangles to deal with. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Okay, we I can't let this guy beat me. Nobody's going to be better than me in the five finger fillet. <laughs> so what you're saying is if I want to press the lady folk, I need a better, bigger flag. <laughs> I don't know who's giving you that, uh, the device moog. Oh, shoot. Oh, gosh. Oh no, people are coming over to watch. Shoot, how did this become into a spectacle? Oh gosh. How did I get in this mess? Hey Frosty, how's it going? Hey. Okay. Round three. Each player has one run. Okay, I have to win this. Okay, triangles and circles. 
You have to save your booches for when they count. <laughs> That's enough. I'm walking away from this. I've lost two dollars already to you, old man. You ain't gonna order something and skedaddle. I bet that guy is cheating. He has metal implants in his fingers, or he burned his fingers so he has no feeling in them. But that's it. Frosty says, hello, doing good. Oh, nice. Yeah, tonight's just me. Um, Beck's got the Pax Pox. Maybe I really like seeing Pax Pox. Nacey, come here. Nacey, you're so smart. You know what house I'm in? And you sit outside of it. Okay, let's take a look at the map. Pringle says, okay, gotta go to bed. Have a good day, everyone. Oh, good night, Pringle. Thanks for stopping by and saying hi. Winter says, I heard that the pinky finger gets in the way of a quick draw. Losing could actually be a winning proposition. Winter. Winter says, Rage can do the five finger fully faster than the bishop and aliens in real life is the ironic thing. <laughs> Let's see, uh, let's pick a, a location. Okay, we, our bounty is $455 in this massive area. Uh, you know what, I bet that, let's get find this guy right here. Let's go bounty hunting. Um, and kind of maybe perhaps work off that, uh... Work off that um, amount a little bit. I think it, I think the bounty hunting gives me a hundred bucks. Not, you know, what, that's like one one fourth, one fifth. I mean that. Yeah. Look, oh, Nasir got all wet, and he's still so glossy. <laughs> this latest update, he looks good. Wait, what's going on? Oh gosh, it's bandits or bounty hunters. Either way, we're running for it. We need to get out of the open and entrap them if possible. Come on, Naysayer. We can do this. We can take them. What does Beck have besides an insane sister and five kids? <laughs> Let's get the high ground. There's four of them. I think we might be able to take them. Okay, one, one made it up the ridge. Here he comes. Oh, this is a terrible pistol. I need to change. Let's do midnight pistol. Okay, we got one. Okay, let's have them stagger in. The sword is just southwest of St. Denny. Okay, we need to get this sword immediately. Alright, we have two behind us now. So let's pause and go to items. And let's drink some moonshine! We're drinking and driving. On the horse. For you. Okay, they're all three out here. You know what? Rare rolling bag. There you go. Let's get this out. We have learned that the the shotgun is amazing. This, this is like the Old West version of uh, jousting. You just ride up to someone on the shotgun and shabam. Ah! 
There you go. Yeah. Run away, horse. Your master was a fool to go after me. You know, but then we're going to turn around and go, Oh, hey, Badger, how's it going? Frosty Mud Puppy is now hosting us. Oh, thanks, Frosty Mud Puppy. Yes, we are totally grabbing this pirate sword. Have you any gold bars defense? Oh, that is a... Uh, I should look into that. We, got, we picked up four dollars and change that more than makes up the money I lost from uh, Game Five Finger Filet. Double bear stagecoach gun with the compass in the stock. I just say, just sitting at work eating dinner, waiting for the window to open. Oh, Badger! <laughs> Man, not many people can say that they have fancy pants restaurants at work but yeah t tonight is just me because a beck has the pax pox and i just like saying the pax pox so maybe i could uh, impress everybody and turn arthur's life around and get rid of this 450 to five dollar bounty that we have in saint denny so yeah, the goal is uh, I'm going to take in this guy for bounty, uh, do some bounty hunting and get a hundred bucks from this guy. And then uh, we're going to get a pirate sword. I just says, oh no, she got the pox. I dodged it, it seems. Yeah, Beck wasn't feeling too well beforehand. And I think like um, maybe traveling aggravated what she already had or she got something worse because of her weakened immune system at PAX. That just says a little, I'm eating Taco Bell, nothing fancy. <laughs> fancy to me is anything that you eat somewhere else. I mean, I don't have high standards. Oh. I know these, um, this saddle is not the best looking, but it's extremely efficient. I drink, I fall. Who said this? Hello? I drink and fall? What do you mean? It's my life. It's my life. Sir, hello? Oh, hey there. Uh, why don't you join me and have a seat over here by, by the fire? Oh. Okay. I the fire. Let's sit down. Interesting. We'll, we'll see how this social interaction goes. PBJ in the car. Fancy. Yeah. I mean, because it, it's been turned into an event. You're out. Since I'm carrying around, you won't even believe, but... If I had a little whiskey to loosen oh, no. up, well, I might, I might tell you. Okay. Um. <sighs> Interesting. Here we go. Here. Yeah, if you go, like, actually go somewhere else other than your home or where you normally eat oh, food, I consider that fancy because it's, like, been turned into a vent. Not necessarily like the quality of the food is what makes it fancy. Oh, hey, Subu, how's it going? Francis, I got a great saddle today, the Panther saddle. I'm doing all the challenges and unlocking as much as I can. You're, you're a place called Four Rigs? The Panther saddle sounds Strawberry. fun. Captain, Indians penned in their lock cattle. I ain't know what's worse. Seeing the ones we killed or watching the other ones die. Slow way. Interesting. 
very interesting. This is well, they pay well. Them government boys. Have we walked into a, a like a Cohen Brothers movie? It's, it's what you did. Hey, we went from like my little shenanigans, like uh, Keystone Cop shenanigans, to like this guy kind of telling about all the horrible things he'd done. I still see them faces clear as yesterday. I do. Seriously, is there a reason why you look so fancy? Uh, well, we did go up to the snow, and that's why I have my winter coat on. Um, I was wearing a plumed helmet, and I, it fell off my head and it magically got replaced by a top hat. I'm not sure how that works out. I don't know how the top hat got on my bed head. Wait, is he dead? Sir? Um. Sir? He's sleeping right now. I'm gonna go pick him up and put him somewhere better. This tent, though, kind of collapsed. It doesn't look good. But at least it's better than... Uh, oh, oh, maybe the, the, the opening's on this side. No, it just... This guy just can't build a tent. Okay, let's drop this here. There, he's on fabric, at least. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's uh, I think that's a lot more comfortable than he was. Uh, I don't not sure how he's oh he's he's falling off. Okay, I I might have killed him. Is he making still making snoring noises? No, he's quiet. I'm I'm I might have killed him. Oh, let's get out of here. Let's go, boy. <laughs> Put him near the fire to warm himself. Guitar and say, the pelt is the blanket under the saddle, a white and light tan leopard print with a light saddle. Ooh. <laughs> Looks great on the white horse. Dubu says, put him near the fire to warm himself. I, that might, he's dead. We've killed him. There's an X on the map. A Native American ring. I'm gonna help that neck position. <coughs> Woo! My throat got dry all of a sudden. <coughs> Woo! Well, you know that was uh, um, that was that was really an accident. I thought I was helping him out by putting him in, in his bed, and apparently we just he broke his neck in the process, and Come on now, boy. Oh, we need to get out of here. Hey, Orion Carney, how's it going? Says, let's just blame the alcohol poisoning. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll just say that. We'll just say that. Carney says, "What's up? What's up? We have a um, four hundred fifty-five dollar bounty, and we're going to try to become respectable tonight." Uh, normally, I'm here with my sister, but she she has the Pax Pox. That's okay, interesting. Interesting. Let's continue on. We're going to get ourselves. We're going bounty hunting, and we're going to get ourselves a hundred bucks. And unfortunately, in this game, you cannot pay off your own personal bounty in installments. Um. 
so I have to get the whole sum first before yeah. I paint it off, and that means that was a very odd looking deer. Very bouncy. Or Orion says cool. Winter says I'm gonna make the Pax Pox a drinky game. Are you gonna drink every time I say Pax Pox? Because I, I really enjoy saying Pax Pox. Yeah. yeah. So I am a man with a $400 bounty who's going to chase down and bring in a man with a $100 bounty. There's a chance that I might just be arrested. Um... <laughs> When I bring this guy back, uh, we'll see. What was that? Oh, that's, that sounds like a turkey. Winter. <laughs> it turns his flash forward to winter succumbing to the alcohol poisoning. <laughs> winter says, of course there'll be an accident. Orion says, you are a god. Oh, you haven't seen anything yet, Orion. It's going to... Uh, you might change your mind at the sort of things we get to around here. <laughs> There's a lot of accidental deaths. Okay, okay. We're going to leave our naysayer here. And we're going to sneak in. It looks like he has set himself up in some sort of fort. I'm gonna sneak in. Come in. He is wa locate Lindsay Wofford. He is wanted dead or alive. Well, we're going to do dead. There's a gun. We might have started sneaking a little too early. <laughs> oh, I mean accident trademarked. <laughs> oh, winter. No, no brown. This is a very uh, dilapidated fort. This almost looks like one of those like forts you run into in Skyrim. Sovereign territory, mister. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I thought I could, I had time to duck into that uh, house first because it looked like there's like a special gun inside of it. Hey, Andy, how's it going? Jello says, nice to see you again. Hi, Jello. How's it going? You, you've uh, kind of said an interesting time. Sir, sir, this isn't a good time. Good morning, mister. Um, I, uh, there's a wanted criminal and there might be a shootout there within. And he says, great game. Now, this is, the, the detail in this is amazing. So, Jello, how have you been up to? Let's figure out how to get in. We have a double bow shotgun. We don't, are basically our only sort of ranged things are my two pistols one of them is is revolver I do not like and it's in my right hand I like the one in my left hand better Lindsay Wofford I got here a warrant for your arrest or 
Okay, we're just gonna- oh, look at that! It looks like a nice little- We're gonna just duck in here real quick. Oh! There were people inside. Okay, interesting. Let's drink this. Okay. I thought I saw like a a gun. Okay, that's 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 not a good place to be. Okay, let's let's drink up again. Bam! I'll the actual guy is up on the scaffolding. Subu! I still find it pleasing that how chill this stream is when I join here with my phone. I can listen to this while trying to calm myself. Oh, Subu! Your day must be really rough if me being shot oh, in a hail of bullets um, is calming. Try checkpoint. Okay, we're going to get a different gun from the horse. Because it's something that can. Is it more at range? Oh. Sit, so, Nate's here. Get over here. Oh, thanks so much for following, Andy. Much obliged. All right. <laughs> I have been up to fine. Surprise. Jealous is bushwhacked. Yeah, I, I think that's that what just happened is a very good uh, bushwhacked is a very good uh, description for that. Let's see. Carbon caster, Springfield bolt action permit. We'll do the rare rolling block rifle. Let's get this thing out. I don't know what a rolling block rifle does versus other things. I just know it's rare and it might be better. Also as a scope. We're gonna try this out. If it gets up close, we'll pull out our pistols. Well, I'm working on my geography and analysis for some company. <laughs> So, is it like elevation maps? Um, because those are pretty cool looking. So not so stressful. Oh, thanks for following, Orion Carney. Much obliged. Wait, 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 what is this? Do, 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 do. We're very close to 300 followers. That's super exciting. Oh my gosh. I got here a warrant for your arrest, or the other thing if it comes to it. Oh, I just shot his hat off! Shoot! Okay. We're gonna cut down the chit chat. Okay, this is a. Uh... Whoosh! Oh, wow! That guy exploded! Okay. Pick up. Oh, we should actually kill the guy. Awesome. Oh, I shot his. What? Why have I not been using this gun? Oh, because, like, I get shot while I'm just trying to snipe. Human studies. More on writing questionnaires clean. Oh, cool. Hey! Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay. That guy has like a machine gun of some sort. There, got him. 
Shabam. Okay, there's one more left. I should probably eat cookie. Oh, wait. He's just gonna go up and run at me. Okay, great. It's that other person. Oh, shoot! My health. Rolling block is powerful. Gatling gun. Wait, what? You're able to get a Gatling gun in this game? Okay, there's like two more. Shoot, run, 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 run. Let's lure him out. Okay, let's get out the this rifle again. Kind of shoot. Anybody? Oh, oh, hello. Boosh. That was a genuine boosh. Oh, he says, I think someone needs a Gatling gun. If we got a Gatling gun, that would change everything. Ha! Oh, uh, let's, let's just pull the pistol. Let's, we're being silly trying to snipe from this distance. Let's pull the pistols out. Loot. It turns out my go-to combo is the Lancaster and semi-auto shotgun loaded with slugs. Oh, the Lancaster rifle, you say. I think we, we put some sort of engraving onto this puppy. I know, the other stream we went kind of a little bit crazy and upgrading our guns and now they're all fancified. Alright, we're going to investigate this Gatling gun. Come on, hop, hop. You can do it. This is a very dilapidated fort. Oh, what? What just happened? Someone shot the ammunition. GG's period. <laughs> Winter said that's a very efficient pairing guitar. Yeah, what one extremely effective short distance and the other one extremely effective long distance. Okay. Let's go up here and let's get a new gun. Bow carbon repeater. I might actually do the carbine repeater. Because I'm hoping it'll, I'll be able to sh shoot and reload pretty fast. D E A D. Which just says that was a, a bushwhacker. Chances can't take the maximum, unfortunately. I actually think that this might be the. Yeah, I've been silly and going the far way around. Hello? Lindsay Wofford? I got here a warrant for you. Okay, I absolutely cannot let this guy start shooting. Let's kind of like hightail it over here a little bit. No, not GG, World War One machine gun. Oh, no, we're climbing up. Let's do one more. 
Ha. Bam. You don't need dead eye. Let's drink some tonic. Oop. Got him. Okay, there's, I think there's one more guy left. Oh, hey! Where did you come from? Okay, let's let's get these out. It would be silly now. Let's run up. We're gonna run up and we're gonna grab the Maxim. <gasps> Wait, who's shooting me? Oh! Shabam! Frosty Mud Pie. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Let's sleep. Winter sees a stick of dynamite in the bunkhouse could have solved a little problem. I think I used up all my dynamite though on exterminating those rats. I'm f but that is a really good idea. Um, Bill says. My, my, you look very gangs of New York. Yeah, th this is my cold weather outfit. It's, it's not a long-term thing. Oh, is the guy like, um, did we shoot him on the other side? Yeah, where's his body? Where is his body? This isn't it. Oh, pick up. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is it. Take the corpse back to the St. Denny Jail. Okay, hopefully we don't get arrested on the way. Because we do have a $450 bounty for St. Denny. Frosty says, I miss my saw. Oh, Frosty. <laughs> I'm just says, you don't need dead eye. You just need a lot of Granny's jar of medicine. <laughs> Come on, Naysayer. Oh, it's such a good horse. Hey, you're... No, this only oh, series so short. Like this guy's legs and arms, they hang so low. Oh, it looks so awkward. Jealous says, "Can you not make Molotov cocktails, even though they're not called that back then?" Yeah, I think actually you could. We learned a recipe for it. Uh, we didn't make any on the way up. I think it's like a crafting uh, product. He turns his, oh yeah, and you have to turn in at the police station. <laughs> Shoot. I hope they don't hold a grudge. He turns his, yeah, they're called fire bottles. Now, when I rode up here the first time, there was like an outline of a golden gun. And I'm guessing that means it's like a special gun. And then when I died and came back... Uh, did not see a golden gun. It was like in this house. I'm not 
seeing any weapons. It, there's this, there is a cigarette card. Let's pick this up. It's a panther. Fauna of North America. Oh, how educational. Wait, what's this? Oh, hello. Interesting. Interesting. It turns a special knife in that bunkhouse, by the way, downstairs. <gasps> Thanks, Katari. It was a special knife. This is a treasure chest. Do you want fancy knives? Take the gold nugget. Hello. Don't mind if I do. You loot the lockbox. <gasps> There's a hat. Where's this hat? Jealousy. Hopefully his body doesn't sting too bad by the time he gets to the sheriff's office. <laughs> as long as the body is still recognizable, I think we're good. We're good. I think that's an evil country. Da, da, da. Hey, the revolver. Hey, don't mind if I do. This is fine brandy. I'll take that. Oh, I can't. I used up all my, uh, too much. Aged pirate rum! Yes! Why is there aged pirate rum in here? Okay, where's this knife? In the corner by the hay. With the hat. In the corner. Corner. By the no. I hear rats. Maybe if we go into dead eye. Hmm. Interesting. He's Kings of New York, Arthur. You get to know a lot butchery meat. We are made up of the same things. Flesh, blood, tissues, organs. I love to work with pigs. The nearest thing in nature to the flesh of a man is the flesh of a pig. This is the liver. This is an accident. Um, main artery. And this is an accident too. Nice. Katarn says, the knife and the hat seem to be gone. Must have been the retry. Probably reload later. Yeah, we should, uh, uh, we'll put a little marker on the map here. And then, uh, come back. But we're not missing out on a fancy knife. Not Arthur. Well, okay, we just remember to go to Fort Brennan. That's what we'll do. And then um, I come back to the police station. Show. Where's the police? Please. Uh, the fence. We might need to hit the fence too, but you're. Stable. Trying to the knife and the hat. On. Oh, Bella says, our matey, be sure to share some of that rum. I know, I, I am, um, I can't believe that there is actually a lot of pirate things going on. We want the pirate sword next. Newspaper seller. Where is the, uh, the, um, police station? We zoom in more. No, too much, too much. It's very interesting sound effects. 
Interesting. Need to put gangs in New York when you're movie list, right? So I was wanting to build the butcher cuttings. Cutting a uh, big speech. We'll do winter. I think, wasn't that a Coen Brothers movie too? L3 to leave a permanent marker. Oh, thanks, Katar. We'll do that. There. Black Tails is, is back doing a seance again tonight. No, Beck, um, Beck has the, the Pax Pox. Like, I'm going to say that this is the post office is what we uh, need to do, go to. And it makes us, we have to go all the way straight to town. Maybe we could just mail the body to the police. We don't have to show up in person. Winter says, I'm getting my drink ready. It says, I wonder if I'll let you finish with a bounty. Yeah, we're about to find out if my 400 bounty tops the $100 bounty I'm pulling in. Oh, what's a good thing that like this yellow marker is there. Thank goodness. <laughs> Tell us. Yeah. No, uh, last Tuesday, uh, Beck was super tired, so uh, she went to bed early, surrounded by aromatherapy candles. We were making jokes about it. Uh, tonight, though, she has the Pax Pox. Beck cannot catch a break. Turn says the yellow line will take us to the police station. Ah, much obliged. How can this guy's body stay on this tiny horse? And how can this tiny horse support the support the both of us? Tells his mass. <laughs> this this is. Florida. This whole thing just totally smacks of Florida. Damn it to hell. Like the rain, the mists, the cypress trees, the alligators, the snapping turtles. It's totally snapping turtles. Oh, I nearly avoided that stage coach. Those is are freshmen, whatever it is. Like tells a red haired woman talk to herself. She's definitely a witch. Hey! <laughs> See, witches, though, they always come in threes. So, actually, a woman by herself it wouldn't necessarily be a witch. I think if you read uh, some Terry Pratchett, um, there's always a there's always a hag. Uh, there's always uh, I think the the, the maiden, uh, and then there's always a uh, a slut in the trio. Correct me if I'm wrong. If you've read that um, uh, relatively recently, correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's what the the group makeup is. Granny Weatherwax, yes. So which are you, Nanny Og, Granny Weatherwax? I, I hope I'm the the maiden one. That's no, neither one. Neither one of those two. What do you want? Oh shoot! I didn't mean I, I need to grab this body before the police recognize my face. It's the uh, the perk of having a Tim Allen Sa Santa Claus beard. Hello, sir. That'd be interesting. I believe this body's worth something. Well, now, so much for them boys being the care of the South. <laughs> Where do you want it? 
caught out back. Come around for your bounty. Okay, will do. Will do. Put his corpse in the cart. So far, it's so good. He has not recognized my face. Magrat. Yes, I believe. I will. I want to be a Magrat and not the other two. Although Granny Weatherwax is funny. Oh, thanks so much for following, little sorcerer. Much obliged. Oh, that's a, a fun little name. The little sorcerer. Oh my gosh. You have to be adorable with a name like that. And I do believe that makes us, we have 300 followers now as a sort of celebration. This is for, uh, a, this was Beck's idea and we'll do this in her memory and pay respects. Hopefully, fingers crossed, let's see how this goes. And the button. There. Shabam. Yeah, 300 followers now. Super excited. We got to figure out a way to celebrate this. Uh, uh, Beck would thoroughly approve of that imagery. Some very strapping Greek men screaming and yelling and hitting each other. Thoroughly approve. I think we need to pull out that gif a lot more often. Congrats. Oh, thanks so much, Katari. Boosh. Okay. So, for the Tim Allen Santa Claus beard, I believe, is totally um, working. Easy payment. He does not recognize and collect the reward. Yes, thank you very much. We have $150. We have 300 left to go. Sacrifice, sacrifice. <laughs> Chilla. That is not a bad idea for celebration. But you might be disappointed because they might all be into each other. <laughs> Black Chelsea's might be. Um, given that they're Spartans. They probably weren't, you wouldn't say that they were platonic with each other. They might be disappointed in sweat. <laughs> Get the hell out of my way. You are now hot. Well, hot, you're my hot, I'm hot. We need to get to a, uh, uh, an end the change. What's this, but there's a giant question mark. There's someone here you can meet. Okay, well. Arthur needs to strip off 300 and it's not Sparta. Well, I wanted to find a cliff, clip where the, actually the three actual 300 guys are um, like celebrating and having fun. Tiffany aching. My, oh, Black Tail says at least Ian Escarina Smith are Tiffany aching. Oh gosh, it's been a while. There's the one lady that was trained by like Granny Weatherwax and she turned out to be a wizard, not a witch. Is that one of those? I'm thinking Escarina. It's been a while since I read them. I I am a huge, uh, though, um, uh, Moise von Ludwig fan and I regularly reread his books. Like tells S. Karina Smith is a wizard. Yes, yes, I remember that correctly. This awesome. Hi, Bobby. Yes. Yeah, and guards, guards, guards. Uh, that one is. Uh, that one is a classic favorite too. What's this toy about? It is not the Black Tail says Tiffany Aiken is a witch that is affiliated with the Wee Freeman, drunken little blue Scottish friend. I have not actually read that one yet. I'll, oh my gosh! Good for you. 
ways I cannot see. And still, the investors will not come. I will totally invest in you, sir. I believe in, thoroughly believe in having remote control boats. Gentlemen, enchanté. Hello, hello, sir. Okay, uh, how is the piles? Yeah, good, good, good. Okay. No. Jealous, Moist von Ludwig. No, vo Voice von Moist von Lipwig. Or Lipvig. Yeah. He's the, um, the, uh, the con man, the professional con man that got arrested and, uh, to serve out a sentence, they made him in charge of the post office. So, in lieu of jail, which was, is insanely clever. I watch them conspire, you moron. Like those is the Watchmen series of Discworld books slowly become my favorite storyline. Death is still the best character, yeah. So, Professor, um, show us your magical Death, is, I mean, yeah, like, Terry Pratchett's death is the best version of death. Uh, but my personal favorite... Because that death is everybody's favorite, but my personal favorite is Moise von Lipvig. Lipvig. Said so in the first book and in the TV adaption, but everybody else says Lipwig. This one's to steer and it, <gasps> it shoots torpedoes. Yes, now now blow up the little battleships and and avoid the sea mines. And they have magnets. The accelerate. Miss the explosion if they touch the bot. Eight. If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships. Oh, it's like mag the the things are. Genius! And I have certificate. Oh, what the? What? Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo. Look out! Look out! Are you kidding me? You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only. Are you kidding me? This. Tiny, where does it store the torpedoes? Look at those poor boys on the Eight of them perish to a mere five on the Husatonic. Okay, we, we we shouldn't probably shouldn't be so close to. Uh... You intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Return radius on this thing is not the best. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well. I'm not sure about that. Oh. I say look out for mines. This guy, if he has a little tiny remote boat that shoots torpedoes, this like can change naval warfare at this point in time. My gosh. And he's just using it to shoot things in a, in a pond. Bring the boat this boat is smoking. I broke your boat and I apologize. <laughs> oh, thanks so much. My name's Philip. Oh, that's super nice. And thanks, Winter, for the bits earlier, too. Like, tells well, if the wizards could be concentrating a single character, he's my favorite. <laughs> the wizards are pretty good. I think, uh, and the hog father, uh, TV adaption. They did a pretty good job. Um, Still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this. What are you having me do? The sailboats. Okay. The steam train. The telegraph machine. The motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. Okay, I got one. We've also we're now smoking again. Gasoline? No. You think I could hit that? Like a discourse of God and funding from us. And funding from you. Oh, they they are able to escape a horrible fate. What an opportunity! No one to pass this up. Not even Dimwe here. Hey. You really all work on your salesmanship. Ah, Americans! All you think about is sales! It's a small What is this Frenchman doing with a 
potentially game changing missile device. Oh, shoot. Yes, I understand. This is the last little thing to blow up, though. Bringing the boat back here. Foolproof! Undeniably foolproof! But you are not fools. And unlike fools, not fools and their money are difficultly parted. <laughs> the people in the canoe. Why don't you shoot yourself on the dock? What is that? Yeah, let's see. Ocean big transmission range short. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. <laughs> well, yeah, but like, okay, we're talking about rivers here, all right? I count on your support. Um, you could just have somebody across the river with a little boat put in the water and like sink the enemy's naval while, naval uh, capabilities while they're parked. Thank you. Like us, as most of the wizards are unrecognizable in the TV hot father, except. Red Coley and maybe the Burser. Well, yeah, but like the sort of like shenanigans they get up to. The individual ones, yeah, it's they're not exactly um, depicted faithfully, but I do like the, the sort of things that they get up to. I, the um, uh, the um, the going postal TV adaption. I did uh, miss out, miss that they didn't do the full, like, that weird machine in the basement thing that they had, um, that the wizards made, and then them visiting the wizards. Lucy's, we're talking about rivers here for some reason. I cannot fully explain. It. I feel like this is quote worthy. I, I think they could totally, like, the the little tiny boats are manageable in a river. Even in like a little bay. The enemy would have no idea what's coming because they're looking for like full size boats to hit them and not little tiny things. And those things are so portable. Blacktail says the mail sorter. Yes. The the mail sorter that um spits out mail that hasn't been written yet. <laughs> and everybody's creeped out by it. They say, jeez, I haven't seen Das Boot since I was like 10. I remember it being intense as um, Patuti. Guitar says, burn up in hot weather clothes. Okay, okay, well, um, well, let's go to a hotel right now. The hotel. Oh, is that. Do you think there's a different show here? A Magic Lantern Theater. Oh, we're tell okay, we're going to a hotel and then we're going to that show. I know technically Jack is uh still um kidnapped, but I think he's a bit big boy and can deal with it. Except you can't actually stay at a saloon. Interesting. Well, we'll look at it now, the heat. Um, we'll go and see a Magic Lantern show. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, I'm, I'm climbing this. Because I am not civilized whatsoever. I did not mean to do that. I am sorry that I did not, I did not, did not mean to make any sort of aggressive... Um, Oh, I'm doing it again. I that was a complete accident. I am sorry. I don't mean to keep doing that. I'll I'll just barge in here. What's this? Ba -bum -bum -bum. Look how fancy and like filigreed everything. I'm sitting totally sitting in the front row. Except I'm not going to sit. I'm just going to stand here and block the light. I'm sure know about our great national hero and pioneer, Josiah. Blacktail like says, well, Bloody Stupid Johnson made that. Oh, yes, Bloody Stupid Johnson. That was, oh my gosh, what else did he do? Oh. oh that, that's a great reoccurring character, even though you, like, you never really meet him. It's a great reoccurring character. Your mama probably says she's dressed like Frosty the Snowman, burnt down the streets and 
Oh, Sprinting down the streets of New Orleans in the dead thick of summer. But Josiah Blackwater was born in the year of our Lord. Jello would be like a in Lake Michigan. That is true, Jello. Three years old. Boy, he took to it right away. He exclaimed, He had a beard as a child? A beard and a mustache? Just, what is this? Oh, he, he's smoking a pipe with a beard and a mustache as a kid. He turns his, he's fine, probably. Very well made. More of a picture of life aboard. Are there any other submarine movies worthy of distinction? Uh, U571 with Matthew McConaughey. Um, Moog! Uh, other summary movies is Operation Petticoat. It's about a submarine crew that has to take on a bunch of women. Um, and shenanigans happen. Jello says, keep climbing like that and people are going to figure you're <laughs> raised by a mountain lion. <laughs> you just look at him as a child! So, he ran away from home. Headed west. Now these lands were occupied by savages then, and when Josiah Blackwater came scout, he's like a little miniature man. He probably had body hair then too. A fiber with chest hair. I think it just means he had hormonal issues. Oh, look at all those skulls. I like the little possum hat. It still has the face attached. <laughs> it's called Artistic License back in the day. Original or remake, Operation Petticoat. Um, the original was fun. Luke says, Arthur looks like he wants to die. <laughs> oh, look at what's happening now. Now, you all know that Josiah Blackwater wore a is the possum still alive? He was riding alligators. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Luke says, Arthur looks like he wants to die. Is this movie about Katarn? Yeah, I think Katarn was born with the beard, too. Wrestle that. Yes. They had a lot of adventures together. Oh, he loved his pet possum. <laughs> Luke says Rachel's favorite submarine movie is Down Periscope with their favorite actor Ron Rob Schneider. I did think of that, but I like I actually like Operation Petticoat more than uh, Down Periscope. Luke says I have a switch now. Rach, want to fight in Smash Bros? Sure. Yeah, because um, part of Twitch Prime right now, um, you get. Um, a 12 year, um, free 12 year access to, um, the Nintendo Online. Sorry, like, my eyes are so itchy, that's why I keep scratching them. It's very odd. Look at these little kids! Good sign. <laughs> yeah, I think this is like a biopic of Katarn. Especially that part. He's barefoot with the possum hat and a hatchet in his belt. He has a gun in Congress. Oh, it's a good thing Beck's not here. She, her eyebrows would be a twitching. Luke says plot twist reaches allergic to cats. Blacktail says, did Rob Schneider ever start a good movie? Um, you could make the case for entertaining. I don't know about good. Jello says, I have to go, Rachel. I'll talk to you later. Have fun. Oh, thanks so much for dropping by, Jello. It was fun. <laughs> I'll see you later. Luke says, do speak a little male J-Lo. Oh, what? You said good movie. No. <laughs> Yeah, like, if the criteria was an entertaining movie, then yes, you could say Rob Schneider was in an entertaining movie. I would never say he was in a good movie. Is Rob Schneider... Was he in the movie that was about, like, 
This hot high school girl waking up and realizing she's in Rob Schneider's body. Like, I'm, I'm vaguely remembering this film. And I'm like, they purposely cast an ugly looking annoying guy for this role and they they did well casting Rob Schneider. Hot chick. Because he's the hot chick with Anna Ferris. Yes, I do believe that's what I'm thinking of. There's someone here you can meet. <gasps> we can go into this uh, um, saloon now. Nice. Let's do this. Right, and we need to change out these clothes. Alms for the blind. Alms for the blind? Who said this? For you. Is someone there? Hello. Here's 50 cents. Hello? We gotta improve our, um... Mister, there you go. You're a saint. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. There should be more people in the world like you. There should... If there was more people in the world like me, there would actually be less people. Because of all the deaths. Like Till says, well, entertain, I kind of go with Home Alone, too. Oh, I completely forgot he was in that. That is actually, yeah, Home Alone 2 would have to be Rob Schneider's best film. Listen. But good, yeah, still looking. The test is eat there uh, to fill up your cores. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I did not mean to push you to the ground. A fancy place. Hello, sir. Can you keep it down a bit, Lillian? I would like uh let's see, have some food. I would take the prime rib. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Oh, I I that beard is looking Tim Allen. I need to get rid of it. Judge Dredd. Oh, he was in Judge Dredd? Which one? The recent one or the the early 90s one. Let's do some uh, lodging. I would like to rent a room, please. Can I get a room, please? Okay, rooms not even good, Trump. Like, well, Home Alone 2 is really Tim Curry's masterpiece. <laughs> he did... Uh, as an act, his acting performance in the Clue movie was pretty good. And I thought that how they did the ending was kind of intriguing and fun. Like in my fancy room, I'm gonna sleep in bed. I know poor Jack is still kidnapped and probably crying and want to know where his mommy is. But we just watched a, uh, a magic lantern show, and we are thoroughly exhausted. Nighttime, yeah. Judge Dredd or Demolition Man? Rob only had a small role. Scene Stealer. Stallone one. Okay. Which is a guilty pleasure for me. Yeah, Judge Dredd is, um... I do like the, the recent one, too, though. They're both good. Next says, Tim Allison is famous for a beard. He's famous for being clean shaven on Home Improvement. The other show he's on now. Well, I I think when I see uh, Arthur Morgan in the beard, I think of Tim, Tim Allen in the Santa Claus. Like, as in he's in the mid-transformation. It's so, like, it's not, his beard isn't white yet, it's brown. Oh, I need a change. I forgot to do that. This is so fancy. There's a plush stand. I want. I, where's my. Oh, here we go. Wardrobe. Let's get out of these duds. The Winter Gunslinger. The Grizzlies. The Brawler's outfit. The Ruffian. The Rebel. The Innocent. The pursuer. The pursuer, that, those pants look like sweatpants. They have like an elastic band. We ain't doing that. 
Winter says, Tim Allen is known for his handlebar mustache from his Kalamazoo, Michigan police lineup shot. <laughs> Mook says, I sort of love surf ninjas. It's my lore's happy adventure. Money can't buy knives. Lactel says, well, hell, surf ninja has a redeeming quality. Young Kelly who? It's this, is this a 90s movie when they made all those, like, ninja-themed kids movies? So I remember the Three Little Ninjas. That was... They all had masks. I, I liked that because they had masks. Yeah, classic frock coat. We'll do that. Not that. We'll do that. Ugh, I need to save... When I'm done, I need to save his outfit. Ruination fist. Yes. Shirts. I think it's our. F oh, I need to redo the. Uh... Oh, right there. I remembered. Okay. Pants. That. Yes. Thank you very much. Spenders. Fine leather one, yes. Under and or yes, we have hath chaps. Thank you very much. We look so good. Oops. Deluxe. Oh hello. This one has silver tips. Moog says, I sort of love Free Ninjas too. Rocky loves it. I know. Emily. The 90s live action kids movies were pretty great. Pretty great. I, yeah, I am sorry. I'm having to put you guys through this. Neckwear. Puff tie, yes. I, did, I forgot to save this as a complete outfit. Okay, I need to I need to upgrade the satchel. Talismans. Okay, we, let's save this as an outfit. Custom outfit one. Like to says, Home Alone and TMT were big at the time, so they made all kinds of kids' traps, martial arts, animal mashups. <laughs> oh. Yeah, those those were the days. There was so much whimsy, and now like live action kids movies nowadays, all the kids have to be really snarky, and they have like an undue amount of special like um. Like, there has to be, like, a CG character the kid interacts with. Howdy, like, the kids are, like, mini-adults, I would say. Concern says, make sure to store three outfits on the horse. Two for hot weather and one for cold. That way you don't get stuck in hot gear. That is, is sound advice. How do you do? Oh, it's that guy that's hawking his book. Right. Mook says, rates like biker mice from Mars more than TMT. Beck was a street sharks girl. I actually like street sharks. Um, do you remember the mouse and the motorcycle? Oh my gosh, I completely forgot about that until now. Oh, I have a letter at the post office, but we're not doing that. We're going to go to this show. Arthur is a fancy boy now, and he is going to be living the high life while he's in fancy town. Yeah, like early, early 90s, 80s, 
Also, like the theme songs for kids' cartoons were so good. Welcome. Hello. Like this is the only 90s animated series I can stand to watch after all this time is Animaniacs. Animaniacs, you have to admit, is tech is made for adults in mind. All the references and jokes and stuff, I it was for adults. Went on. I mean, there's there's absolutely no way like a kid would know about The Godfather. And would get the the whole pigeon scenes. They just think, oh, it's funny. Which I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I think it, I'm just saying that like adults were kind of the prime audience, and like kids afterwards. Like a lot of kids, like that was their first exposure to. Oh, I have already been to this one. Thank you for your obeisance. Truly, I am Aldridge T. Abington, tasked with bringing you the greatest show in Saint Denis, or for that matter, the whole world. Okay, if there involves like a belly dancer lady, then we've already seen this one. To bring you acts that, when exhibited together, comprise the most amusing actors, captivating performers. I'm thinking I already have seen this. For your I remember watching Gargoyles back in the day, but I haven't seen them in Egypt. Gargoyles was fun. I can still do Batman the Animated Series. Batman the Animated Series is... Oh my gosh, the writing in that. It's so good. It's like a, a neo-noir. But that's another story. Let us prepare now for a phenomenal... Evening. <laughs> From my time in France, I met these like so says watching cartoons as adult really shows you how much repetitive stuff you were fed in most shows. I bring you the girl yeah, I, some cartoons. Some like I was watching the old He-Man cartoons, uh, like a couple months ago, and I was like. Oh, can can. <coughs> They're actually pretty good. <coughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Arthur is <laughs> <coughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, like the whole story about his mom. Like his mom is actually an astronaut from Earth that crash lands onto this planet. And it's like, like people like, oh, think like, oh, he man, it's just like a, um, I, I'm so glad I walked in on this show, um, but people are like, oh, He-Man, you know, it's just like only just for boys and it's just all about like boys play. But like, it, look at it, it has some pretty good female role models because like the captain of his guard is that one lady and then there's the enchantress and then his mom who's kind of more together than the dad. DuckTales series. I tried watching the old DuckTales series recently. I was bored after five episodes. But that, uh... That theme song, pretty catchy. Also, the video game is pretty good. DuckTales says, watching He-Man nowadays is an exercise in spotting homoerotic undertones. Yeah, the, the names these characters have. <laughs> Like, I don't know if you've seen it, but there's a, a, a documentary on Netflix called um, The Toys That Made Us, and they talk about the creation of He-Man. And it's just like... 
a bunch of like insane guys just kind of go crazy in this toy department and come up with the weirdest stuff. Like Till says, if you want to destroy He Man, watch the Christmas specials. It's dope. But what about the skunk one? I don't think you can say there's any homoerotic undertones with that. I can't believe there's a skunk um, enemy. Battered tongue, but bringing us a show unlike any other. The mysterious Baya. <laughs> oh, wow, that's a snake. Is, in, is the opera episode of Batman the Animated Series the Birds of a Feather episode? Like, does he stink of tour? The opera episode? I don't... I remember there was like a singing one in Justice League Unlimited. This is her abs look painted on. Our har. <laughs> I can't believe nobody's coming to get me. <laughs> there was a, a, a episode just as like unlimited where. Batman sings a song. It's it's the same episode where Wonder Woman gets turned into a pig by uh, Cersei, and um, Batman has to sing a song to get her to become human again. Because does heckling get you thrown out eventually? No, but I think it makes her make. Or do a mistake, and I want to see if the snake will come after me. Like she drops it. <laughs> it starts just getting from dust till dawn. Oh, the snake's attacking! We did it! We got her to drop the snake! She has lain with snakes for many moons, much like the president. <laughs> While traveling in the hills of Bavaria, my olfactories were disturbed by a monstrous manure cart in front of me. <laughs> I was surprised <laughs> it wasn't pulled by a beast of burden, but instead by a mighty oh, woman who stood a clip. As strong as an ox. I present to you. Yeah, <gasps> yeah, Batman sings for Diana. They see the got the voice actor to sing and it was great. Who is this? Hortensia. Why does she get the tuba? She can't be that strong. Can't be that strong. It's a 
you're going to break that book. Rip it in half. Says, did they mocap a dude for an animation? I'm thinking so. This is a definitely a mocap performance. <laughs> Gonna go on. It's just laughing, that big belly laugh. Tony! Barney. <laughs> yeah, I think if you just stand there heckling the whole time, you mess up their performance. Gentlemen, she has a very strong constitution. Uh, it just says me too, moment. A guy gets a girl hammered at work. Har har har. An odd mating ritual, but each to his own. It has been my pleasure entertaining you this evening. Each day is one less until our last. Distraction is our greatest joy. Good night. Until next time. This job. <laughs> I should be banned from this theater. Breaking through. Boosh. Hey, okay, let's take a look. It looks really similar to the other, um... Oh, we weren't here all night! It's morning now. Good morning to you. Let me vote. Let me vote. What's going on over here? This is this Domino's? Damn right! Watch yourself. Play all five. Take your chances here? Let's do this. I don't know how to play this. I just know how to play Mexican Train. Okay. F two fives. Came from, please. Pass. Mm hmm. This is kind of this is reminiscent of Mexican Train. Hey, girls, it's Shrewd here. Hey, Shrewd, how's it going? I can do two. Let's do. Two. Will you hurry up and do something already? I have no idea how to play this game. This. Yes. I have ten points. 
shoots these great things. I bought Red Dead 2 three days ago and I finished it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, well, we're still on our first playthrough. I know it's been like a, a maybe a month or two now. <laughs> we're slowly getting through it. Shoot, I put 40 hours into it. Nice. It's very, um, do this one. Yes. We're not the most efficient. Well, we only really play Tuesday nights. Um, we're probably definitely more than forty hours of play. We get we 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 get a lot of shenanigans. Ain't worth much. <clears throat> okay, there's a few points for you. Uh, not much for me. Yeah. We're, we're opting out. None of this. It was a pleasure, gentlemen, but... This... Oh, wait. Dutch is here. There's so much to do. You could play for weeks without touching the story. <laughs> We, we get in a lot of trouble. Chelonianism? What do you mean by Chelonianism, sir? Hello? Morning. Hello, sir. Can I interest you? Your Tuesday nights are my midday. Well, <gasps> nice. It is a Fascinating religion that was taught Let's to a see. very wise Ooh. master about a hundred years ago in a land not that's quite a time difference. Tart says a little trouble can be fun. Does he have any KFC? Okay. You've made a wonderful choice. It is a religion of safety. A religion made by gods who understood what life is. Not what life could be, but what it is. It is very dangerous. Oh, goodness. Maybe I should have grabbed that pamphlet. With Chelonianism. You still... I still haven't got any specifics on this book. Uh, am I boring you? Uh, a little. I'm sorry. Have a wonderful day. You have a pamphlet now. Dude, see, I've just been playing story main to finish it before side missions and stuff. We've been basically playing, doing nothing but side missions for the most you part. Are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just these some slick little greasy haired European. says, beware anyone promising safety. It's a myth. Yeah. Usually, uh,. If someone's promising security, you gotta sacrifice a lot to get that. Better like this. Gotta have a lot of protection. No one's gonna get shot, Arthur. So everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This place must be you okay, John. I guess. Bum bum bum. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? It says, by sacrifice, you mean money. Uh, money among many other things. Freedom. Uh, probably personal pride. Gotta get rid of that. Interesting, especially if it's an Arthur. If it's Arthur promising safety. Relax. I got this. Uh oh. I think they're suspicious because I have thick leather gloves on. <laughs> I would be, especially in the south. Excuse me, wow. The 
turns his almost his naysayer. He would carry us through all the fires. Yes. Naysayer is Wait, what is what is the Italian Mafia is in New Orleans? I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. Bum, bum. Ooh, everybody's all shuffling. So... You walk into my seat, stinking of shit. Oh, by the way, I noticed you guys like crafty things. You come into my house, you you a God, and you tell me. Oh, that's fun. You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you? Your mom's a very entrepreneurial. To breathe in my presence. Indeed, you have. What's going on now? We are simple country folk. folk. All we have is each other. Simple country folk don't dress exclusively in black and red. With some inbred ex-slavers, it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words, you lie shamelessly, you think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> that is a very stiff woman here. Oh, ha, 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 Italians. Dutch Vanderland, uh, Arthur Morgan. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John oh, that's very cool, Shrewd. <laughs> Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm super suspicious right now. Out of pocket over a misunderstanding. Interesting. says we're simple country folks while we have a handful of gold rings. Yes. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform simple it, so, Yes, again, simple country folk don't dress exclusively in black and red and have like the fanciest Cemetery. Waistcoat that has gold buttons and a gold chain. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on the mild. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind. Why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> but we shouldn't leave him. We don't, we can't, shouldn't leave him alone. This is a bad idea. Okay. I don't feel comfortable with this. Also, my horse is tiny. Especially next to John Marsden's horse. You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it early. She would say it's John looks like the most country folk. You know, you need to yeah, I guess. I guess my guy has totally fantified himself other than the Tim Allen beard. Know where Jack is. Listen, we found oh my gosh! Nano is raining! Wow! Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Nano! Oh, that was super nice of you. I ain't been a good Hello. Hello, everybody. Yeah, Nan we, um, my sister and I met Nano uh, this weekend, and I have to say she is incredibly, um, she's incredibly nice, kind, um, very witty. She's a really funny uh, girl in person, and uh, just the way she appears on streams. And uh, thank you so much. It's incredibly nice of you. How are you liking RDR2? It's fun. Um, we have abandonment issues a lot. <laughs> also, we keep getting in trouble. Trash says she's pretty great. We'll keep her. 
Yes, yeah, she is. She's really awesome. You guys are really lucky to be in her community. Brave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. Fury. What choice do we have? Right now we got, we're up to some grave robbing. I, d I don't know where the cemetery is. Oh no, we're gonna have more abandonment issues. I can't see though. There you go. You gonna stick with me now? <laughs> oh my gosh, Birds the Words rating too. Oh, thank you so much, Birds. Yeah, uh, we hung out with Birds too this weekend, played uh, some D&D. &D. Um, his, uh, his character was pretty funny. It was probably like the moral compass of the group. I have to say, uh, Birds got us uh, back onto the mission and not um, picking fights with uh, too many bar patrons. <laughs> oh, Nephilim, how's it going? Social media makes me feel old. That's an amazing name. Wolf says Borbo oh, was a moral compass. Yes, he was. I would say he was the moral compass of the group that we were in. Birds says. Birds says. Oh, birds. Birds, we are super thankful and happy that you, you're here. And that was really nice of you to rate us. Yeah, Beck is busy with the seance in the room. Oh, Beck is passed out. She got the uh, Pax Pox. From here, Arthur. Yeah, he's yelling at me. You're, you're grave robbing right now. <laughs> oh, sure, that's all right. <laughs> sure, sure, Pixar didn't happen. Uh, Bird has his uh, character sheet on him, and it has his character's motivations in it, and they are very obviously um, very noble and heroic indeed. Right. Let's see what's going on in Bird's, oh no, the Pax Pox, yes. What have you done to Beck, right? Bex, yeah, Bex not feeling. Oh, we gotta. Oh, this. This is fun. Oh, I, this gives me such vibes of Infamous 2 going through a New Orleans graveyard. So she always comes back with something. Yeah, Beck, Beck's, um, Beck doesn't get a break. The waffle, the waffle, my D and D character. Yeah, birds. Ah, yes. The I believe he was a dragonborn, like a seven foot tall dragonborn. Ah, oh, here's a person. Sorry, sorry. I had a drink. And I said, all right. I gotta go duck outside and raid and run. My roommate and I are trying to finish up Game of Thrones before the new season. Oh, well, thanks so much, Nano. Yeah, looking forward to the new season, too. I thought about rewatching the episode, um, old episodes, but then, like, that's a, that's a long slog. Again, we don't really have the time to do that. But, yeah, again, Nano is incredibly amazing. Uh, She's just as awesome in per person as she is on stream. We can testify and vouch for that. Nephilim says, by the way, Rach, gotta ask, were you ever a model? Uh, yes, I have modeled. Um, oh, Winter, thanks so much. That's really nice of you. Uh, I have modeled. I wouldn't really call myself a model because I would say somebody who's a model is someone who could support themselves on the money they make modeling. And that's only really if you regularly do runway shows or catalog work. But I have modeled before. In there. Um, get in cover. And we'll bust the door in. Get cover? Okay. Interesting. Boy, 
Yeah. Bruno says we powered through it in a couple months. Good being everybody. <laughs> oh my. Oh wow. That's. Whoa. What's going on here? I, 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 I regret picking this pistol. I need to get my other pistol. They don't have it on my person right now. Well, Flux, so you sounds like you guys had a really rad time. Yes, Thorley recommends the PAX experience. Sorry, there's a middle of a firefight here. I say it's nice. Good to know. You really look the part. Oh, thanks. That's really nice of you. Oh, shoot. I can think of better ways to spend an evening. This is so spooky doing this. I am so getting Infamous 2 vibes right now. Oh, whoa. Hello. Get punch, punch that. She made me lose my top hat. Oh, that's that's my dude. Reed goes into Rob Graves and ends up making deposit. Bird says, "So I'm definitely all in pl unplugged this year." Yes. Uh, what is great about Unplugged is that there's multiple tiers of, if you want to do more D&D, &D, you can do multiple uh, tiers of expertise. Like there's tier 2, tier 3, tier 4. Um, and that's, and as well as the massive um, that spot where it all uh, uh, board game um, sampling. No, she's, oh, she's doing the Terminator again. <laughs> Don't forget your gat. By the way, were you playing on PS4? Yeah, this is PS4. Um, stream roulette time. We can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for. Bird says, well, I'm still left in a bag trying to hide in the raptors every time. Yeah, Beck! Beck got such a kick. It, obviously, I think her being in the raft, uh, rafters and shooting a gun out of someone's hand, I think that really helped us out in that final battle. Be Beck's character was like basically like a dragonborn Batman. It was a rogue that, um, uh, that every time we entered a building, it was able to... It was a six foot, two hundred fifty pound dragon man, and but was able to every time we enter a building, um, sneak by everybody and climb into the rafters and just sit there with a bow and snipe, or get ready to snipe. He says, "I've got Xbox. Looks great on the TV." Oh shoot! Hoping. Go back the way we came. Uh, looks like we gotta need to evade some people. He says, what are you trying to find in the cemetery again? I think we're trying to loot um, we, a grave, but there were some robbers here, and we got the robber stash as well. Oh, I think you don't want us to be found. Okay. Creeps, how's it going? There's someone coming. Hide. Shoot, says, I missed the, missed the Mass Effect video. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> Um, most of it was Beck and I, uh, oh shoot, no! Oh shoot, didn't mean to do that. Oh gosh, it's the police. It's the Popo, we gotta run. Oh no, our bounty. No, it's climbing. It's climbing by the second. Oh no, oh gosh, this is a huge mistake. This is a massive mistake. Oh gosh, I am so sorry. I regret my life decisions. We need to get out of here. We need to get out of here. We're leaving John behind. Bye. Bye, John. I hope you 
Oh gosh, no, our bounty's 520 bucks. It says, how was the ride back from PAX? Um, the ride back from PAX was nice. Um, we were on a train, so basically we just had to find our seats and sit down. I didn't have to navigate traffic. Um, but it was, yeah, there was, there was a, an awkward argument behind us uh, between a mom and her son. Apparently the son has a habit of leaving luggage behind and we had got to watch the mom like frantically dash off the train to grab what her son left behind. But yeah, that was a little bit of a drama right there. Um, oh shoot! <laughs> it is the people is robbing the grid needs to be stopped. Accidents. Creeps says, hey Rach, where's Beck? Uh, Creeps, um, Rebecca got the Pax Pox from this weekend and so she is probably passed out in the other room. She may or may not be surrounded by candles as well. And just say stumped again. Uh, yeah. Ugh. Stumped. Har har. Yeah, so we grabbed this pile of money that was on this grave, and instead it was the robber's stash. So. We'll have to go back the way we came. Okay, let's let's go this way. Oh no, we should- oh, going by that body was- okay, we need to go the other way next time. Wanted for murder. But they were grave robbers! We were just robbing grave robbers! There's- Isn't that canceled? What am I doing? I'm being silly. It's working. It's- It's actually kind of working. This, <coughs> this mode. <coughs> I might actually be coming down with the Pax box too. <coughs> Whoa. <coughs> Whoa. Yeah, that stump did come out there. It was in the mist. It got misty all of a sudden. Which, th this, this just seems so much more Florida than uh, New Orleans to me. I mean, a lot of the architecture is New Orleans, but like, the environment and the trees and stuff. The flock says, it took me a moment to see what it was because all I could see was the halo. <laughs> well, that circular thing behind looks like one of those halos represent artists. Great discs of yellow glow behind someone's head. I love it. Yeah, it's the... It's um, the the mini map. Usually, it's behind Beck's head. Oh, we we did the thing. Oh, cockroach horse is still alive. Come on, cockroach horse, we can make it. Yeah, usually, it's behind Beck's head, and we make jokes about her um, being all angelic, and I'm the opposite. We need to make a PAX plug unplugged happen this year. I am all for doing PAX unplugged again. That was really fun. Um, I really like the community and it's very like low key, um, more quieter than normal PAX, but it's like very, f it's not as uh, loud, yeah. It was a lot of fun. It's board game centric and it's just fun looking at like all of the people's designs and the games they come up with. It turns a shadow effects at the staples. Oh shoot. Oh, John! How did you get off your horse?
I can't believe John Marsden's actually following me. It's a terrible idea. Says, oh, but you asked about Celestia, my bad tushied elf. She has skill for blade conjuration, restoration, illusion, destruction, acrobatics, and I think mysticism. So, what mod did you get that lets bad tushy be an oblivion character class? Okay, we're totally going to be attacked by alligators, just FYI. Cockroach horse OMG, I love it. <laughs> yeah, this horse cannot die. It's like a cockroach. It survived so much. It, sur it fell off cliffs, it's gotten shot multiple times. Like right now, it has a couple bullet wounds in it. It's broken its legs before it got right up and started running. Um, I'm convinced that it's a Native American god that has shapeshifted into the form of a horse and will reveal itself later um, to send me on a quest. Oopsies, what is Pax Unplugged? Is that what, what MTV Unplugged was? Lol. No, it's like... Um, so the normal PAX conventions are video game centric for the most part. Uh, PAX Unplugged is around board games. And right now we're it in the middle of a board game renaissance and there's all sorts of fun and exciting, um, uh, like just like so many games are being made and pumped out. And there's so many good ideas going on. And there's this whole giant room dedicated to you being able to try out board games with your friends. And it's a lot of fun. If this wasn't a mod, you can make your own class. A bad tushied elf is mine. <laughs> Neff, that's amazing. Well, shrewd. Hey. That nobody's judging your typing speed. What is going on? John's horse has died! Because he left it behind in the, the train yard. It turns out the sword is just over there. <gasps> the sword? Okay, Katarn, you gotta lead us to the sword. Shark uh, Bait says, where was PAX help? Uh, PAX Unplugged was in Philadelphia. Uh, we just went to PAX East and that was in Boston. Let's see, this horse has been surviving rage for all this time. A couple bullets wouldn't stop it. Guitar says, follow John to sneak out unnoticed. Okay, we'll do that. My, my path hasn't been the best. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it! <laughs> Let's go around the side. We'll just follow you. Oh, we're missing our top hat. There's someone coming. Hide. Oh, I've been making mistakes. I've been making major mistakes. Must just been killed. They're still here. Still here. I'm here I'm looking like Tim Allen from the Santa Claus. I I accidentally I drank some Rogaine and my beard hair just won't stop growing. It's like it's at werewolf speeds at this point. My guy probably has to shave a couple times a day. Winter says it's in the middle of the graveyard by the body. Winter, there's a stealth mission. Oh, Neff says it. stealth mission. There's someone coming. Hide. Hey, he's really kind of blurting this stuff out.
Creep says you drank Rogaine ill. Yeah, it was like hair tonic, and now we're practically a werewolf with the, the speed we grow our facial hair. But it is, our mustache is getting long, which was the whole point of it. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Well, you can go back to Dutch, but I'm gonna go and find. I guess. Uh, I wanna find a pirate sword. Winter says your hat has on the band. If found, returned to not my fault, Morgan. <laughs> it turns it is also on the horse anytime. You gotta finish the mission first. Okay. I will do that. And then we're getting the pirate sword because we're not turning our noses up at the. Let's get this done. Oh my gosh, thanks so much, Sparbs, for hosting us. It's super nice of you. Back to becoming a Western pirate. Yes, our 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 fancy boy well. antics are at an end, and we're going to go back to being the land pirate. This far is nice. I was playing piano on stream. Oh wow! We playing an electronic piano, or was it like a? A classical one. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Did he? Did he pretend? That guy just pretended to catch a kiss, or was it like an elaborate bow? You know, Arthur. Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple. <gasps> a garden party. <sighs> Oh my tiny tiny horse! It's so small. Let's go. We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. <gasps> we get to see the new camp, and then we'll get the pirate sword. All right. Improv jazz. Ooh, nice. You sure you're okay? Jazz. That's a. Uh, you, you must know your music theory if you can do that. Enough says the land pirate, aka bandit cowboy. <laughs> it's hard to see tossed him the loot. Big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do it? <laughs> what what's that? It's food. It looks like Oh no, this kid has had a taste of the Italian food and he's a hooked. Teach me lots of Italian oh dear. Don't call him that, please. You know, Caballo? This kid can be. What? This kid can speak Latin now. That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs, one for day and one for night. They've spoiled this child. I'm just glad you're. Okay, I don't feel so bad about like gambling and having my picture taken and going to all these shows while the kid's been kidnapped because apparently this kid's been uh, living the high life and learning Italian while he's at it. It's Italian, Rich. <laughs> oh, Neff. It's so misty. My horse is so tiny compared to everybody else's. Like John Marston's horse is huge. I think we're moving up in the world. We now live in a, a mansion. We got you, your son. Everything. We got him. Mama. He's fine. I'm fine. He's in a he's in a fancy boy outfit. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> You got him. My, my Arthur Morgan wants an outfit like that. Thank you. He wants to be a fancy sailor boy. Interest is just a summoner of wars. Skyrim, cool sparks. Nice. Thanks. 
Everything's okay. Go get a clue says, hi, lovely internet people. How goes it? Hello, go get him. We're going to call you go get him. We met Mr. Bronte. He is a... He says, wonder why Italian sounds so similar to Spanish. Well, if Beck were here, she would tell you that they were both Latinate uh, or Romance languages, meaning that they both uh, are evolved versions of Latin. Boys, we got some work to do. Let's see, guy, go have some Venus soon. Have a nice dream. Hope Beck gets better soon. Oh, thanks so much, Nephilim. It's super nice of you to swing by. And yes, we like your elf, your bad tushy elf. <clears throat> it turns says, don't cut the Arthur Jack's fancy boy clothes to wear. Arthur, Arthur is. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Mont, he wants he wants some lace on him. He wants the lacy things. Oh, we got more money! Oh, thank goodness. Okay, guys, uh, what? Where is this pirate sword at? Okay, so you said there's St. Denny and it's kind of to the south of it. There's like a cemetery. John helped Abigail. <laughs> Or say, sorry, I was eating what I missed. Well, we returned uh, a child that had been kidnapped. And we were just looking at the fancy boy outfit the child was wearing and wishing that Arthur Morgan could wear be a little sailor boy, too. Oh, Winter says, a lot of accidental killing in a chase scene. On the map to the southwest of St. Denny is a train bridge okay a train bridge the south is this the train bridge i'm guessing if there's dots on it it's a train so we'll start going here and once we get a pirate sword then we'll shave Oh, everybody's happy because the kid came back. Alright, me thinks this is Spanish right here. Oh, thanks so much for falling with luck. Much obliged. Yeah, yeah, and thanks for swinging by. Thanks for the entertainment conversation stream. Oh, that's super nice of you. <laughs> Go where it starts to cross the water opposite the city. Okay. Arthur is. He's, I know you guys are happy this kid came home, but Arthur's going to give himself a pirate sword. He says, oh yeah, that's Spanish. If the we got back and the kid just started singing in Italian, that would have been hilarious. And just became like this, like... The Italian version of a weeaboo. Okay, so. I think we're first crosses, the, like right here, right? Yeah, we'll go toward it. Has to be in the right vicinity. Yeah. Hunter says fire drinking and singing is always fun until someone throws a couple rounds into the fire. <laughs> it turns says you'll see an abandoned building when you're in the right spot. All right, pirate sword, here we come. Being a fancy boy was fun, but we gotta go back to our pilfering pirating ways. A letter has arrived for you. Return to the camp to read this. 
excuse me, but Arthur Morgan is does not keep on top of what what is that? I, th I think there's uh, alligators everywhere. What are you guys doing with the alligators? Naysayers being smart. Bird says hi, I hope you get over the uh, pax pox. Yeah, I hope she gets over it fast too. She really can't get a break. Their head south. Okay, look for an abandoned building. Naysayer does not want to be anywhere near uh, these alligators. Okay, that looks like an abandoned building to me. That looks super abandoned. Alright, so then from here, head north out to a tiny, head east to a tiny island with a yeah. boat on it. Okay. I'll take a look at the map. We're here. There's east. A tiny island, you say? Would this be would this be the tiny island? Put that there. Okay. I'm guessing it's directly east. This is the spot. That's a, that's a good east. So many alligators and snapping turtles. Oh shoot. Oh no, this is a bad idea. It's, there's so many alligators everywhere. We need to park Naysayer up somewhere so he'll be safe. Below the fish on the map. Okay. Oh! Like right here? Where it says I got addicted uh, to D&D &D and Pathfinder. Yeah, D&D &D was... I, I only played D&D, &D, I didn't play Pathfinder, but D&D &D was a ton of fun. And I think I'm going to be trying to um, DMing a session with Beck. I'm totally going to be attacked by alligators. I just know it. Do I have... I, I don't have any big large rifle. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, gosh! Oh, God. Ah! Well... <laughs> Good turn, as you can see from here where the large tree is. <laughs> The lower one. Okay. Oh, hey, Cortel. How's it going? You came in just for that. At least it's the first time we've ever been attacked by uh, alligators. At least they say you're still alright. Oh, also hi, you cuties. Oh, thanks, Cortel. Yeah, uh, Beck, it's just me tonight because Beck has the Pax Pox and Winter's playing a, a drinking game where he'll drink every time I say the phrase Pax Pox. Right, so it's that one with the big tree on it. Okay. We need to avoid being attacked by snapping turtles and uh, this really is like what it's like to live in Florida.
Okay, we're going to we're going to swim to it, and hopefully we won't get attacked by a gator on the way over. Francis, by the way, shooting gators with any gun will scare them off. Okay, we're going to be counting on it. There's like at least five on this island. <sighs> Okay. So now, where is this sword? <gasps> there! I see it! Okay. I see it. Stay away from me. Oh my goodness. Yes! Oh, there's that some alligator pickup. <gasps> yes! Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Ever old and rare. Alright, I'm not gonna try this thing out on alligator. I'm just gonna make a break for it. Oh my gosh, they are everywhere. So much obliged, Katarn. Hotels. <laughs> Angie's not drunk enough, okay. We could talk about the Pax Pox. I think I'm coming down with the Pax Pox because I keep getting coughing fits. Oh, I, I, I just, I just know there's, oh gosh, there's so many alligators. Running past them all. Katanzi's finding all the toys. Yeah, thanks so much for telling us about this. Oh, I'm a I'm gonna be a proper pirate boy. I got the hat, and now I got the cutlass. Hotel says only been to Florida once. The beaches were nice. Florida is great. Florida has. There's not really any pretentious people in Florida. They don't care about what you do. You could set your yard on fire and they're fine with it. They're like, you just do you. And like, yeah, I'll set my light on my yard on fire. Um, I'm, I did not pick that example just because I've done it. Hypothetically. It's just a hypothetical. I didn't actually have not actually lit any yards on fire. I don't want that to be clean. <laughs> Winter. It turns out, now, would it look better with the tricorn or the plumage? I'm gonna say plumage. Okay, where where's my place? Oh, don't tell me I get to sleep inside with walls for once. Oh, John. I am guessing... Oh, they got that kid all the fancy boy clothes as soon as they could. <gasps> Do I have a room? Oh my gosh, I have a room, guys! Oh, I'm so happy. I'm shaving. Who cares about this letter? I am shaving. Yeah, no more Tim Allen. Get rid of those chops. There. Uh, 
we're working on the mustache and the goatee. The goatee is going to, there's going to be an upper mustache and there's going to be a lower mustache. He says, hey man, light your yard on fire. Live your truth. <laughs> My dear Arthur. Katun says the Viking helm and axe are up northeast, by the way. Thank you for your help with Jamie. Oh no, is this my ex girlfriend? Arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Jamie's the her brother that joined the turtle cult. Saved his life, and we are all. And I want to know more about the turtle cult philosophy, but they, I have made they, they wouldn't tell me anything specific. They just I think it just all I know is it involves wearing robes with turtles on them. Why couldn't you change? But this look, oh, everyone wants to find the Viking helm and axe. Life is very confusing. And I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another. Hotel says he clearly looks like Daniel Day Lewis from Gangs in New York. Staying at the hotel he says you got a room. You're a real boy. Arthur, I know it is wrong. Hotel says hey, you got a dear John letter. Feels bad. else, and for what we Yeah. You know what? I stopped her brother from committing suicide. Ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. I have not, did not pay any attention whatsoever to this letter. All right, we're going to get our tricorn hat out. No, not, not the tricorn. This. Yes. We're saving this outfit. I think he looks excellent. <gasps> we got a balcony! Hello, everybody. Just Arthur here. Oh, and John Marsden. Making a fa- oh! <laughs> Making a fancy interest in breaking his ankles in the process. She's trying to cash in on your bounty, don't go. Katarn says, on the map above where it says in Dragon Blow, where it says Roanoke Valley, on a little peninsula. I think we're really going for like the Spanish Explorer look. I mean, the, the facial hair goes right with it. Winter says, this is more of a man of La Mancha and not a pirate. Pirates wear helmets. He says, that stinks that Mary didn't just run off with Arthur. Frosty says, I'm out. You all have a good night. Oh, good night, Frosty. Thanks so much for dropping by and tuning in. Turn says, I also found a pagan skull mask as well. Does it match any of my, um, does it top any of my executioner hoods or Doctor Doom masks? Let's see here. Oh, I just look great. Good job, sir. Wait, oh no, the, our food supplies are in the red. Okay, we need a... We need to address this. Okay, where... Where is the book? Get that animal out of here! Alright, simmer down. Need it. Where, where do I order things? Go! Go, little naysayer, running through the camp. Goats go sounds fancy. Oh, hello, Mark Gang! Oh, thanks so much for following, Mark. Super nice of you. Because he's sort of like a goat skull, really. If she says, is that what pirates wore? Uh, we're going to say he's a Spanish pirate. All right, where's the log books that where I could donate some money and make sure everybody has enough uh 
food. Apparently people cannot have issues feeding themselves. Hello? Inspect the note. Criminals escape from jail. Animal trap. I'll put that away. It's fancy. Oh, this is Jose's uh, uh, place. Interesting. Winter so talk about skull mass at death war and time bandits. If it looks like that, we're gonna be all over it. Actually not too far off. It says Well, where'd you get that hat? We got it on uh off of a dead body on the top of a mountain. Where oh wait, don't tell me. Is this where a hand... No, this is like the medicine. Okay. <coughs> oh gosh. <coughs> oh. <coughs> I think I'm coming down with the Pax Pox. Whew. Oh, don't tell me I have to climb up again to do the money. I think it actually that's what a guy do. Oh, thanks for much, so much for following, Tyler. Much obliged. Asmer cough stream, yeah. Oh, wouldn't it be funny if there was like an asthma where it's just like the most annoying noises? Like somebody coughing and smacking their lips. Oh, lady, what's going on? Good morning. Hey there. Everything all right? How you doing? I'm fine. Hey, okay. oh, you be. What does an asthma stream? Gotta put that on my fancy headset. Oh, it'll be just like. The most disgusting sounds. I know how like it's always like a girl kind of like staring into the camera as she like does stuff like that. It'd just be like just somebody with like the most deadest eyes just staring and making horrible eye contact. Like coughing and burping. <laughs> oh, oh, is this the book? Is this- oh, it's like on a fancy pedestal! Here we go, we got the ledger. Alright, let's- let's fix this food situation that we got going. Okay, what? Alright, people are donating- uh, Bill donated a goose feather! Susan donated a bat wing! A Sadie did a poor pig hide! Swanson donated an empty bottle! My gosh, Micah, I can't believe I'm saying this, but Micah is kind of, he actually did $9 in cash. John did $10 in cash. Oh. Alright, we need to restock on provisions. Okay, we're doing better. Mm. Right, I would like to contribute, thank you very much. Oh, west of Wanjilla Lake for the skull mask. 
Is it like an end game? Have you have to beat in the game to get that? Because I remember there's one really nice hat that you've had to have done that. Let's see, or is it do you? Oh, we'll put in a golden nugget. And then we got some pocket watches we can ditch. Do this platinum gray belt. It makes a sparkly sound every time I donate. I absolutely no one could complain that I don't uh, contribute to this group. There you go. I still have 300 bucks. So I just need to come up with 200 more and I can pay off my bounty. Birds. My brain doesn't hit me up late. When Thursdays, to be fair, Swanson was bringing a full bottle, but I actually drank it on the way. Creeps, I think Molly's getting wasted because Dutch is ignoring her. Yeah, the, the Pax Pox. Um, I do think I'm coming down with something because I've been coughing a lot. Like, weirdly. Especially during this stream. Stomp, 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 stomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp. So we have a pirate sword, we have a new place, we got Jack back. Do you think we, we have $300 now, we started off with like barely anything. Um, we might be able to pay off our bounty relatively soon. Oh, we're going to be a voyeur. I'm stare at her. Morning. Hello? You all right, Molly? Boards. Well, there's plenty of work needs doing. Well, I'm not much company. Take care. Molly's not doing well. Arthur, Arthur just likes to talk to people through windows. Hey, Scar, how's it going? Oh no. No, no, Uncle. I am the mood. Is, I although having to talk constantly while streaming might contribute to a cough. It's been kind of tickling. Milk in the wrong bit. <laughs> what else is I can hear Beck's O oh, rage? You say so. Get right. just staring creepily through the window wearing a conquistador helm, as one does. I feel like I need some cow piss myself. <laughs> How can anything be creepy if you do it in a large plumed helmet? There's that chicken coop I got us. It's, it's too close to the alligator pond or alligator river. I mean, isn't, isn't this? No, that's over here. Some around here, we dumped some bodies uh, and fed them to the alligators. I think it's in the back. This is what's Arthur's nom de plume. I got really digging this uh the feathers. If I could take the feathers off and put on any other hat, I would be it would be amazing. Like if you put can put these feathers in the tricorn. Oh my head. Good morning to you. Oh. 
Well, it's 11, almost 11, and I think that might be it. I think Arthur got a lot done. He got a lot done. He's going to, he's over halfway to paying off his bounty, uh, which is a lot more progress than I thought would happen. <laughs> Winter says, I wish Naysayer could wear that, wear that head. He deserves it. Yeah, if Naysayer could wear a Conquistador helmet, that would be... Oh, he would be beautiful. It would be like those Lipizzaner horses that perform in circuses that had feathers on their harnesses. Katarn says, when the sword was actively selected in my inventory, I was wearing it on my belt. Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I, I just some cookies. That's fine. I think I probably need to be away from the camp to do that. Bird says, I love how you're wearing a medieval helmet in the 1800s. I, I don't... I think wearing a helmet is a good idea. Okay. Uh. There it is. We have a sword. And we have this helmet. And he looks amazing. Kotos is glad I could catch the tail end of Arthur's voyeur adventures. Oh, Katar. I mean, uh, Arthur. Sorry, I was just reading Katar's name under uh, Quotals. Uh, Arthur has had, um, he got a snake dancer to drop her snake and the snake chased after her. And that was great. He, Arthur's gotten himself into a lot of, a lot of trouble with a lot of women. Mainly by like yelling at them. He turns his, uh, can't activate weapons in camp. Winter says, going down the rabbit hole with Arthur through the looking glass. Turn says that when sheafted stays in the belt. <gasps> it disappeared. Where does it go? It just disappears. Interesting. It looks like he takes it out of his leg. <laughs> Winter says, Arthur had a deadly pair of alligator boots. Hotel says, Arthur's a sadist as well. <sighs> this is all it's safe for me. Probably the type of holster I have right there. But yeah, he's, he's ready to go pillaging and be a land pirate. Hotel says, it might be the outfit you're wearing. Yeah, it might be. I, I chose the... That particular holster, because it's... I like how it looked like in the slung in the front. And uh, that might be what's doing it. Yeah, thank you so much, guys. Uh, and for bearing with me being a, a solo stream. Wish Beck were here, but... Um, she's been through a lot, and... Hope she gets feels better soon. Um, yeah, thanks so much. <laughs> thanks uh, for the tips you've given, and as well as the laughs and the great uh, conversation. Uh, yeah, Thursday uh, we'll be back. Hopefully, Beck will be feeling better by then. Um, I might, I might be sick by then, uh, judging by this cough. Um, but yeah, I think, um, Thursday we either do more Mass Effect or go back to Star Wars. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Thanks for seeing how you feel better. Oh, thanks, Quotel. Thanks, Katarn. And Winter. Yeah, I'll tell her that. And Creeps. Drink plenty of fluids and take it easy. Yep. I'm almost done with this water bottle and I'll start on another one. 
But thanks so much again, and thanks for um, Nano and Sparbs and Birds uh, for raiding and um, hosting us. And uh, Frosty too, that was super nice of you to host us as well. I know he already left, but I'm going to go on the record for thanking him. It was super nice. And good night.